And at guard for Connecticut, listed at 5'10", a sophomore from Minneapolis, wearing number 42, Khalid El Amin. So, Jason Rosado in to replace Romano, who sits with the three personals. Bosco cleans up off the glass. El Amin for three. Back in, replacing Ricky Moore. Quinnipiac back in the zone. On the drive, El Amin. Oh, <laughs> that is strength, Bob. UConn is 12 of 16 from the line in the early going. That's a lot of free throws in the first 11 minutes of the game. El Amin with a little hop and buries it. El Amin. Well for their Northeast Conference season. El Amin on the drive, kicks it out to Albert Mooring. Back to Collin for three. That is an unbelievably good play right there. Great play by El Amin and Mooring. Shot clock at 10. Juan leaves for El Amin. Back to Collin. Off the glass. That's how good that Fairfield team was. You got a good memory. Joe probably had about 40 that night. Well, he didn't have 40. Even. El Amin hits the runner. Is he? Alagoli with the putback for Quinnipiac. UConn by 23, 57, 34. El Amin, a long three. Basket. 22 points for El Amin. Now, Jim Calhoun, when he brought the psychiatrist by Pondexter there. Dozen points for Pondexter. Here's El Amin, the other way. Gets it right back by Albert Mooring. El Amin with the steal right in front of us. Can he beat everyone down the floor? Yes, so. Paladin, El Amin. Right now, they forgot about El Amin, who almost found a seat. El Amin into the paint. You really have to be conscious of that penetration, especially coming into the lane like that. Right down to five the shot clock for Utah. El Amin puts it on the floor and hits just his second field goal of the night. You can see a look in his face, a little smile, like going, excuse <laughs> but a play like that, you can see both, everybody hitting the floor, grabbing on the basketball, so you kind of see where that's a arrow possession, and El Amin getting on track a little bit. He's so good with the dribble. His own trap, you have to know when to attack and when to not attack, and they're confused out there. Outside jumper goes down for El Amin this time. Moore's got time in the corner, passes up the shot. El Amin will take it and make it. Coach Brazen quick to get the 22nd timeout. You have to give up something when you're overmatched. They've given up the three, and I think they've only missed one. Right in the body. Another steal for Hamilton gets it ahead. El Amin for two. And it's amazing in a very bizarre way. Makes it into the paint. Juan there with the miss, kicks it back out. El Amin, bingo. Nice job by Juan keeping the ball alive, and El Amin stepped right into that one. The perimeter skills of UConn. He is going to held to what? Five, six points. El Amin making nice use of the left hand there to kind of. Well, uh, that's a credit to both the kids and the coaching staff. El Amin. Yes. Rogers, just a sophomore for Wagner. He's pushing the ball. A little over anxious on that one. Moscow the dish. El Amin with time the middle as they did last time that's where you want it against the pressure Ooh, that's, that's, that's not gonna happen my friend <laughs> not dribbling how I mean and outside Saunders rips it off he's done a great job rebounding for this team some people thought coming into the year that could be a weakness for you and Saunders is now making it a strength grab his coke <laughs> as the ball came his way I've learned that from experience for two. Nice feed by Jake Vosco. Very active so far. Yeah. Really grabbed it. Vosco coming up with a turnover. Al Amin. Wanted to get that to Hamilton. But... <laughs> so Tim Capstro in the last time out was talking about intensity and working down the stretch. Too flat with that cross court pass though. They call the baby boy green. And finally, his father said, Philo. Just name the Philo out of the blue. Come on, Tim. Elamine, the little guy. Come on, the other end ties it up. She's excited to see their uniforms. Elamine inside with a left hand. So strong, so physical. So he stands and rolls on the floor. Plays hard. Gives him a good effort on the defensive end. 
Alameen penetrates and everybody backed off him and he ripped it. Alan Alameen not forcing the action tonight. Really doesn't seem like he's scoring two games out of Puerto Rico. We're going to see them in our second game tonight. Kentucky against Kansas. Alameen off the glass. You're out in isolation. Alameen with that great body control. So he's a young man that's had a lot of experience in a tough league. So not surprising he can come off the bench and score like that. Now, I mean, matches it at the other end. Bosco, two big screens. What a dribbling show, though, by El Amin. He's right now wondering where is he going to get some scoring. They've kind of gotten away from trying to get the ball down inside, and I think that's got to be their answer for a while. They're counting too much on the perimeter. El Amin, he feels it. You can see it way out there. Now El Amin, El Amin over Bell. He's... Uh, Patient stands still too much. Here he is moving without the ball. Fires low, drills it. Three pointer. See, the offense made him. Championship games today. Illegal dribble by Alabine gets by with it. Alabine oh, gets it on the baseline. Miracle shot. They're trying to start to get the ball inside the Freeman right out of the gate. Alabine loves the quick trigger three. He knocked down four big trifectas. And they can line up along with Bosco back in. Morning's been giving him scoring the last two games. Had 11 against Michigan State. El Ami. Oh, that's a big time play. Are you kidding me? Look at 13. Well, Jim Calhoun told me before the game, he said, we're going to take that best hit. He said, you better believe they're going to play with a lot of feeling. El Ami created. And hit. Big time shot. They needed a big time deuce, and Colleen El Ami delivers. And Saunders, they're battling each other, and the ball comes off of both of them to pit. El Ami quiets the run with a three pointer. That's his first field goal of the game. Against Vosco, no place to go. Thrown away. Moore with the interception. Elamine with Hamilton and Saunders with him, backs away. Now in the lane, lays it home. He's starting to heat it up a bit. Terrific play. Rebound. You will not see him miss a point blank lay in very often. Elamine at the foul line. Good. Can't run off and leave that guy. Seven points for Elamine in the second half. And it's by Pittsburgh, a minute to go. Elamine, Hamilton. Leans in, goes back to Elamine for a three, and he got it. Big! Oh, what a shot by the sophomore. Elamine has 10, all in the second half, and he's brought his team back to within three now with 54 seconds to play. 69-68. Got a foul now. They throw it away. Nobody's going to touch it. They're going to leave. Freeman should have let it go. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's got to go up. Elamine down the lane, spinning against Greer, the shot, good! Elamine scores with two seconds to play. Now the Panthers from half court. What a win! What a win by Connecticut! Unbelievable comeback! Khalid Elamine to the rescue for the Huskies. Lucar is a graduate student. Brody graduated from Fairfield, got his bachelor's degree in engineering. Off the this free throw, the Huskies in a flash with El Amin finishing. Clark back at the midcourt line. Nine-point UConn lead. We've played nearly eight minutes. Clark loses the ball. El Amin three on two. Look at Vosco filling the right lane. And the foul. So El Amin, like Hamilton, with a chance to complete a three-point play. Again, that was a key factor in this game for Fairfield, their ability to make those kind of shots. Nice one right there. And El Amin responds with a three. Bosco, good luck. El Amin falling out of bounds. Here comes Moore, back to El Amin, looking for his first points and got it a three. He got knocked over off the right front of Jim Calhoun. Come the numbers again, two on one. El Amin will take it down, gives it up at the last moment to Mooring, who finishes the shot. But it's been dominated by Hamilton, 25 points to six for Brown. One with a put back even though Bosco's had no problem with fouls. Well, you and I might get some time tonight, John, with the way this lead is mounting, but you look at them come right down the middle and continue to pound the glass, and it opens up a lot of opportunities when you're aggressively going into the front. Vegas, lost it, stripped by Moore. Hamilton trails the play, but Alameen pulls up for the jumper and nails it. Wow, they are just flat out good, this team kind of run. I guess the first run they made was at the beginning of the game. Down the lane, getting the roll is Alameen. He now has seven. Well, I never had that problem missing a dunk. Georgetown's his own. 
My hand and the rim never were in the same area. Oh, I mean, with the water. Oh, but a wild shot rebound more. And on the in transition, reverse layup. So Hamilton takes his seat, and Moore and El Amin, the only UConn starters in the lineup right now. El Amin for three. Got it! Lead pass, Braswell, and Ron rejects it. Here comes El Amin. Three on three. Pull up three. Got it! Timeout, Georgetown. Big win at home over Florida in the SEC. Minnesota at Purdue postponed because of snow as El Amin kisses one off the glass. Bosco takes a seat, four rebounds, four assists, and he hasn't attempted a shot. El Amin with the runner off the glass. He's got 15 points. It's only the sixth field goal for Georgetown. UConn has five three-point field goals. El Amin with the runner. <laughs> oh, he was challenged that time by Braswell. Inside Bosco misses with the left hand. Long rebound. Saved to El Amin for three. He's got 20. Now, and off the inbound pass, Perry with the quick jumper. He's got 17, and El Amin answers and sends our cameraman flying onto his keister. Colin El Amin. Here comes Freeman. Kicks it off. El Amin spots for three, and he got it. We touched on Kevin Freeman's ability to run the court and rebound. A nice soft jumper in the lane that time. Gets on the scoreboard. El Amin keeps his dribble, leans in, and drills it. It's like the old Georgetown teams back in the 80s when I played in the second half. Look for UConn to make that extra pass again. Three-pointer by El Amin to start the second half. El Amin now with nine, his second three-pointer. Well, UConn doing a good job with that skip pass, but when they make that pass, look for Fosco to be wide open. Uh, good move by El Amin. He's got the first five points of the second half. To El Amin. And there was Saunders again looking for the alley-oop. Instead, it is El Amin with 13 points in the ballgame now. And the Huskies right now with just one starter on the court. That's El Amin. Who gets the backdoor feed and scores, and will go to the line. Elamin off the Freeman screen, goes to the foul line, keeps his dribble, pulls up for the shot, and hits it. So Elamin gets on the board. That is his first basket, first points of the night. The second time that Notre Dame has played a number one team in the country this season, and two different teams. Well, they don't shy away from anybody. Indiana also. Elamin for three. Rebound, here's Hamilton. Freeman is forcing Murphy further away from the basket with his back to the basket than he wants to be. Elamine in the lane. Khan put a licking on the Mountaineer. Here's another turnover. Boring and Elamine. Three on two if they hurry. Elamine spins and hits. So UConn ball, 2.7 following the four free throws. This has been a disaster for Notre Dame. Elamine at the buzzer. Got it! It's a three! So Notre Dame the ball with 2.7 seconds left. Well, obviously he believes with the guys who are voting. Kick out Alameen for three. Got it! Mooring comes around the pick, receives the pass. Alameen, long three. Got it! 22 points for Colin Alameen. Ricky Moore at the controls here for Connecticut. Boskell's back in. Set up Bellamy. Jumper is good. That's a triple for Dallas Bellamy. He's 44% for them. And it's, you know, they give themselves a break at the confidence. 8 0 run for the Panthers. Bellamy quells it with a deuce. I mean, they make you pay quickly for mistakes. Ricky Moore penetrates. Three men there to shut him down. Bellamy, pull up. He's good. He's murdered. He is absolutely murdered. Oh, he's got a nice left hand dribble. Reset, he'll shoot from there. Bingo. I was watching him before the game shoot the basketball. He must have hit nine. El Amin, nice spin. In traffic, leads for Saunders. Oh, ho, ho. Saturday afternoon delight right there. Saunders with 10. He's one of the key players on a defensive end. He's a Velcro man. There he is with the strip. Freeman to Elamine off the glass and good. That's vintage Connecticut basketball. Force the turnover, create the opportunity and the numbers, and convert at the end.
Chases after the rebound into the hands of Hamilton to El Amin. Boy, do they get out quickly. Uh, are we kidding? He's got to get a T.O., baby. That just exploded in transition. They really fill the lanes. Look at him kick it out. El Amin spread the court. Great vision. Reverse the ball. And there's Mr. Hamilton showing why so many people would say the guy's a flat-out All-American. He looked like a defensive back. Dion. Elamine launches a three. He's got to look for that shot. He can knock that sucker down. He's got to get some touches. Freeman. The double team comes in on Hamilton. Elamine. Jennings tries to stay with him. Oh, what a oh. shot by Khalid Elamine. Showing why he's a superstar. One of the five best point guards in America. Elamine's play was so big. Take a look at Khalid Elamine. There's the head fake. Drive down the lane. And this is in traffic, my friends. And this is against a Skywalker like James. He seals him. He protects the basketball. And he kisses it on the glass, as Billy would say. Elamine fires from way down. down the baseline, back to Elamine, now six in the shot clock, and he'll just pump it up from there and make it! <laughs> That's what you call looking for, he did something similar to that in the first half. Georgetown has extended, good back cut. Oh, nice play. One to Elamine. That was strong, Hamilton with the rebound, and look at Elamine get out, pulls up. Knocks it down, and they are dangerous. We talked about it. Hamilton gives it a look. Elamine picks up a screen, backs his man up, and drops it at three. That's a bad switch. So now it's Elamine with Hamilton back in. Bosco's also back in. More in the Freeman, and Elamine hits from the elbow. Number one in the nation. It's a 9 nothing run for St. John's right now. Elamine tries again. That time, good legs in the yeah, shot. Yeah, exactly, Sean. And Jesse couldn't handle the pass from Postel. Here comes Elamine trying to push on that one leg. And he managed to score, beating Barkley. One of the few mistakes of the Big Oh, you conference. would have been just a little kid yeah, that's about right. that. I'm sorry. Mike was a grad student at AIC and did the PA when Jarvis played against. Sunday, now they're battling number one Connecticut. They've blown a 12-point lead over the Huskies. Elamine off the Hamilton pass. Test trying to do a little bit too much by himself. They need to get back to their offensive sets. His eye to see the shot clock on the other end of the floor. Realizing he had a lot of time, pulled it out. Elamine! He and thought he was fouled, and he probably was. In the open spot in the zone. Elamine tries to trigger the team. He's got to step up. It won't come as smoothly for the Huskies on the offensive end. Well, in fairness to Juan, you know, he's got to get part of that timing. you got to get that rhythm. Elamine in rhythm hit a three. And he's got to look for his shot, Mike. He's got to step it up. And he thinks he'll make a living at the next level as a backup player. You know, Dick, Connecticut just cannot find a perimeter game as Elamine pulls up in the lane and puts UConn back ahead. I'll defend and I love Chris Carwell. Very physical. He's more a baseline kind of Elamine up firing the tray. Uh-oh. Knock it down, uh -oh. baby. The little guy on fire. He's down the baseline to respond. It's a 17-6 UConn lead. That's what you got to do. You got to attack the basket. Fires the three. Now Elamine has hit two trays in a row. Is he putting a shot? one right now and there's still another turnover Elamine with 10 points already off the steal spins gets open beautiful move 12 points Dick he's five of eight certainly familiar with it Elamine take a look at right here he's gonna give a little spin now watch him he's gonna step in the lane and now it's the spin and there's the J baby nothing there's a steal. Back out. he's been very active we're gonna give it back to him and they'll wait for Elamine to penetrate beautiful play patient and he came up with a high loft over the Redwoods, and it's 30-14. Favor Stanford. This style of play, the patience, the half-court game, definitely favors Stanford. Levine uh -oh. down his third three ball of the game. To manage the time and clock and take good shots. Now he steals the ball from McDonald. Comes right back. Reverse great pass to Freeman for the layoff. What a successful Freeman. Wide open, Elamine. Three ball, got it. So Khaled Elamine, 40% from long range. He's got five against West Virginia. Confidence is going up and up, and he's got to stay out of foul trouble. He's the only one really finishing out there for the Eagles. Tough shot, Elamine running along the baseline in traffic. 
Hamilton 4-14 from three, one of six from deep. Elamine got inside and scores. Dollar Elamine. Two blocks. Hamilton gets it right back. Got rid of it. Elamine, runner, off the glass, got it. Connecticut get taken over. Stay with it all the way. These coaches, right? There's no let up. Al Skinner, Jim Calhoun, right? Hit it. Elamine in traffic, count it. Left hand, break out, Connecticut numbers four. Nice. And mean reverse bingo. That'll do it. This is it makes. Connecticut will run the court. Nobody gets it down and scores faster after you score than Connecticut. Absolutely. Absolutely. They come in a hurry. The phenomenal part of their record in the recent years is the way they've played on the road. Tremendous success on the road everywhere they play, and the following is enormous. One thing about Connecticut, they're used to being behind at halftime. It's been kind of a, the game story this year. Then they rally in the second half as they get a shot away and they get the roll. Yalad El Amin gets the roll to make it a one-point game at the half. 20 game team, Connecticut to 38 points with just over five and a half minutes to play. The roll goes. UConn gets two, and it's now a four-point game, Seton Hall. In the half court, Burn. Entry pass and the give back. Here's the first steal. El Amin. Hemsley gets back defensively, but El Amin puts it off the ball. He's faster than he looks. He's stronger than he looks. And he's a winner. Now, guarded by Mario Bland. Back to El Amin. Now, James would have done that. They don't help here on this pick and roll. Oh, well, that's so. Bosco. Oh, dear. Well, it, it, he said a legitimate pick, though. Yeah, James uh, early was knocking him down. Now struggling. Jim James. Here's El Amin. Oh, boy. He likes to stick it in. He's a dagger guy. There's, There's Freeman. Nice little play there on the they try and post up one on this play. Elamine in the lane. Two more. Just too tough. Just too tough. And he wants a foul call. Quick but effective. And look how quickly Yukon takes it after the made basket. Here's Elamine. And he is right. He be Leonard Hamilton. They shoot so fast. You gotta pick him up at the timeline. The little guy with a monster heart. That's a lot of people defensively. He just did on that little string out of the pick and roll. Look at the speed from Elamine. Oh. How about speed, dexterity? He's like an acrobat. Boy, James is really having a tough afternoon. Elamine. Up oh, and oh, oh, again. How about that with the high? Look, kiss. And then begging for a call. He does it all. Good defensive job by Jake Bosco. Here's Elamine. He likes the lights, Fern. Avoiding the sideline. They're reading, and when the defense goes to help, they're getting closer to the rim. Elamine. Yes. Pump fake. Three. Realizing that defensive energy against him. Linehan the quick hands. Moore, great save. And Elamine hit a two. Hamilton just held that away from Corey Wright. El Amin was off. Got a rare offensive rebound. And went right around Farley to finish. He can play the small forward spot. He's done a nice job in improving his rebounding ability. And again, he can attack you. That's three misses from the outside in a row for the Friars. Three on one Husky. El Amin holds up. Back-to-back chase for Collins. Before you talk about UConn's transition break situation, you want a clinic, though. You've got to be able to watch the dude do that. Nobody does it better. El Amin is stepping up here, Lenny. Fires by one. El Amin! A response. He and Hart, both Californians. That, of course, was a decisive UCLA victory. Oh, El Amin. Tough. No, I mean, tough. That, that's tough. He, he's tough. I. Elamine. Whoops. Beheim thought there might have been a charge called. There's another block underneath. And Elamine got it. Oh, what a dagger. Elamine has no fear. Tough guy. Takes it down for Utah. A chance to tie or take its first lead of the game. Here's Elamine. We're tied. Quick pull up. Kiss off the glass. Didn't finalize again. Here comes UConn running again after the Freeman pick. Now you've got to call the timeout. You should have called it before. 
Ramon Brown can't get the rebound. Here comes Hamilton. Elamine, a little leaner off the glass. This is that when they smell the blood, look at the, my MVP of this ball club. Look at the job by Rochelle Jones. Here's Elamine. Pulls up, takes the jumper. Yes. Can destroy you in so many ways. You know, 20 seconds before I thought, I thought it was a five minute mark. Elamine, Hamilton, or Freeman rather with the assist, and Elamine puts it in. A little bit of a force, but trying to get the foul call. I mean, that's the hardest part. Elamine, he likes to take over. Yeah, he sure does, huh? A gamer. Syracuse now back into that zone, which you usually see on an out-of-bounds play. Elamine, who was over his first seven yesterday, knocks down the Plant that seed in the official's mind. That's not a, a very easy call to make in many instances. Elamine left three after the trap out high. It's a two, two on the table. Connecticut six, St. John's nothing. St. John's had to work harder in its semifinal. Elamine up top. In the paint. Hamilton took it away as Grant was going inside. Hamilton with El Amin. 13 0. Tyrone Grant hurt his hand again. Freeman's doing a nice job defensively on him. Martez tried to bully Richard Hamilton and in doing so knocked himself off balance. El Amin on the switch. He ended up with a slower, taller Albert Richardson. Collins' eyes lit up. Put up two more on the scoreboard, and it's 27 to 10. With a block there, Hamilton has two blocks in this Big East tournament. He has four for the season. El Amin from the free throw line. Another cold off the bench. El Amin recognized, obviously, you know, we were heartbroken. El Amin with a heartbreaking triple to end the half. Oh! The Huskies' great first half momentum of 13. Nothing was threatening to be thwarted, but college. Well, it's all about the quick inbound pass and pushing it up the floor. Khaled El Amin, a nice job of getting spotted up. About three feet behind the pro three-point line, he gave it everything he had to the point where it threw him three feet beyond the shot. El Amin and Hamilton, 27 of the Husky 40, from behind the arc and above the rim. It's an exclamation point triple to send us to halftime with UConn leading by 11. Hamilton gives it up for more. This is smart to go with this zone, continually go zone again. El Amin drains the three-pointer to the cross with Watson. First three points of the night for Khaled El Amin, and he comes away with a steal. Uncontested, El Amin in for the layup. I see, now they're getting their defense. I think both of us could fit into those shorts. Hey, good luck on the show, Craig. Thanks. Thank you. I want to do a Khalid El Amin joke for everybody. Juan replacing Vosco. And we will see another substitution next dead ball. El Amin off balance. More on a bounce for El Amin. Fires it up for three. See, New Mexico has to recognize a couple from the block area. Huskies with a chance to add to their 10-point lead. El Amin, the leader. See, he's set type of team. El Amin back in along with Saunders. El Amin for three. Okay. And they're not finding the right guys on the floor. They're as slow as they possibly can, even though they extend it. El Amin, stop and pop for Khaled El Amin with a floater. El Amin setting up the offense. Robinson got picked off on the play, and Khaled El Amin takes full advantage. Bell. Here come the races. And 8 one to open the second half for UConn. El Amin, corner jump. Got it for three. Dave Pless is going to talk things over. Doesn't this look very similar to how this game began at a 17-0 deficit? Maryland bombing Creighton in second round action. Earlier today, St. John's with the victory over Indiana. Time off the clock, saving a little energy. El Amin, ball fake, gets into the lane for the bucket. He can put the ball on the floor. Remember it then. Iowa with the full court pressure. They will try to pressure just to keep Connecticut off balance. Nice look. Hamilton to El Amin. And the easy layup for the Husky. Throws the ball. Hamilton pull up three. Ricky Moore. Oh, nice play. El Amin got the step and banked it high off the window. 2-2 zone. 
Let's try to match up out of this. Alami forced it and got the box. <laughs> they do their best to stay out of the way. Alami pump fake down the lane, 14 footer. Barry. Leaks back out, Alami. Bounce pass, no looker. Great play to Hamilton. He is so quick with the basketball. Savvy with the basketball. Here he is, down the lane. Oh, what a pass! pass. Look at it. Made possible by Khaled Elamine. Jake's taking it down the lane and making a scoop shot. Elamine tripping, kept his dribble, and moves up the floor. Elamine, and he lays it in himself. Now you want some tough play, Elamine will give you some tough play. He's one of the toughest in the country. Iowa continuing to pack it in. Elamine, pull up jumper, got it. Spin, cut off. 11 to shoot inside. Freeman frees himself. Bucket and the foul. And that's what LME can do. Still right underneath with the box out. Ohio State cannot let that kind of an outlet pass 30 feet down the court. LME, and he didn't make a shot from the floor in the West Final against Gonzaga. Knocks down his first attempt tonight. That drive by Moore in that last possession, Jim. Not wise against his zone. They need to pick it apart. El Amin steps forward, Perfect. drains it. Off the floor, more. They've got numbers here. El Amin takes the middle to Freeman, and one! What a pass! Boy, Connecticut realized two Ohio State players on the floor. They had the three on two, and that goes to show you how strong Kevin Freeman is. Gasavovich tried to grab him with two hands. Sensational behind the back pass by El Amin. Good catch by a finisher. Savovich goes up, tries to pull him down, and Freeman just too strong. Terrific job by Kevin Freeman on the inside. The man. Nope, they're still matching up in the 2-3. El Amin, and UConn's knocked down its last five shots. Long rebound out to El Amin. Huskies are running. Buckeyes recover. Hamid off the glass and it rattles home. Brown not ready to take it. There's the same backdoor cut we just showed. Oh, and El Amin had lost it for a moment, but a good assist. Here's that dribble again. Look at that. He just penetrated. Head to El Amin. Left El hand Amin. for two. That's just outstanding defense. And Moore the gets the rebound. El Amin, lob pass. Jones, what a snag. But Jim, it all started with Ricky Moore's defense. Short, and they got the numbers again. The two ahead. El Amin. Bangs it home. Ben was great as an All-American in 64. Saunders thought about it on the post. Now here's El Amin. Off balance, but he drops it. Great penetrator. And straight points for the Huskies. And that night he shut down Allen Iverson, only 4 of 15 from the field. Allen Iverson said he's the only man in college basketball quick enough to guard me. That's saying something. Look at our main dish to Saunders. Here's that switch again that leaves Elton Grant on El Amin. We'd like to take him one on one. El Amin at last. Didn't expect to see too much of that matchup tonight, did we? And what? Down two as they began the second stanza. And El Amin played less than 10 minutes in that first half. Moore saves it to Bosco. You feel like El Amin could break out in this half. And he hits the opening jumper to tie it at 39. Bosco. Got it back. And there is Khalid El Amin. And meanwhile, in stores. Has to be aware of where Hamilton is right now. Aware here too. Five on the shot clock. El Amin gets him the lead back. He loves the leaner. I'm sure the Duke players were aware of Hamilton just as I was. El Amin freezes Avery and then gets that little floater that he loves so well. Just as Brand was a outstanding player on that Goodwill Gold Medal team, so was El Amin. Jim Calhoun says the bravest soldier of them all. El Amin. For Hamilton to go off the screen. And here he comes. Carol well beats it. These are the possessions you play back in your mind and back on tape the rest of your life. 1-10 to go. Eight on the shot clock. El Amin with Brand defending. Splits the defender. And it's a three-point game. How much guts is that to take the ball against Brand inside? 
It'll be, uh, again, two-shot situation the rest of the way. And if you're Jim Calhoun, again, you don't want foul here. Stops the clock. Another floater on the inside. He just has so much confidence, Jim. And just think, two games ago, he goes 0 for 12 against Gonzaga. Here he comes tonight, forgets all about it, and comes up big. Trajan Langdon's going to take it the length of the floor and try to get it off. He doesn't have a lot of time here. Pressure from Jones. Langdon trips, and UConn has done it. El Amin comes over and says, we shocked the world. 